So here, what are the values he has submitted in email? So here, it's email and then password, then get the password. Then after that, he's entered mobile number and get the mobile number gender so gender you user can select only one so i can directly write that one so gender but password we will never save directly in the database because our security reasons so compulsory encrypt using our php predefined function called md5 so these are the values and uh, here uh, it, within my header or footer i it did not connect it to my database so i want to connect it to my database so for this i have created a one important file in my project that is called config.php so it contains all my configuration files so right now i am not configuring anything i will configure in next versions so here define of so first i am going to define my username so why we are using only constant variables instead of normal variables in the sense constant variables never overwrite but normal variables will overwrite so here my username is root i did not created any new user for me if i wa if i want that i can create and again i can use so here password is null and here my host name is so i am not using any live host so i my host is it's local host then database is just now we have created that that is project so connected this mysql underscore connect of so first we need to give our host name then our username then our password and after that i need to specify a database for our sql transaction so it's db and uh, my database is under db so it will connect automatically and i am loading this file in header.php because if i load this file in header.php no need to load in in into each and every page so that's why i'm directly loading my header.php include underscore once of so its file name is config.php so now database is also connected just execute this one so database is also connected somewhere we made mistake in the config file just go and change that one so define of i forgot to give the parse error in the sense it's a simple error so we can directly solve that one and it's connected db is also established so i need to store these values directly in my database so you can directly write the insert query so here insert into table name is users so i am going to insert name email then then password then mobile then after that gender and finally i have one more field called created on so look at that one so it contains at what time he was created at what time he was re registered so remaining id is the auto incremented value it will increment automatically status has a default value called zero so always it will insert zero zero indicates still user not activated when he activated using mail verification or mobile verification and it converted into one so here values are so here first i am storing the name and second i am storing the email so third value is password mobile is a number so no need to give the codes so i can directly store in my database so mobile and then 
gender is a string so i need to give this one and finally i missed one thing that call created on so created on in the sense i am not storing anything just storing the timestamp so timestamp you can get using this one so we have a simple one and that is execute this query dollar res equal to mysql underscore query so here message is dollar in so here if it is successfully executed executed in the sense echo you have successfully we are just giving a message registered in registered so when it is not written true in the sense somewhere we made mistake so at the time echo something went wrong so just giving a message please try again so i need to give this message is using the bootstrap but first display the message temporarily and after that we will display using bootstrap so here i have pn lamp and the password is lamp at the rate of gmail.com and here uh, password is something but uh, i want to give the standard one so that is lamp and mobile number so double nine uh, i don't want one triple nine double six double six double three i selected female and click on the submit button so i got the message called you have successfully registered and go to your database and check the data is registered or not so right id number is two name is lamp and uh, third one is email is lamp at the rate of gmail.com but password is encrypted and look at the value see here what is the and i have given my mobile number is something like this one but what is the value here is stored 2147 because the reason is i have given the data type is integer the maximum integer number is 2 power 32 minus 1 so when i whenever you want to give more than that so just change the data type into so just edit this mobile data type into begin and then save so now i have the return back and i deleted this entry and i have re-login again so lamp lamp at the rate of gmail.com password is lamp and mobile number is same number so here and selected female and I click on the button you have registered successfully so looking back coming back and execute this one so now look at this here my id is tree name is lamp and email is lamp at the rate and this is my password and this is my mobile number now it is stored exactly correct so gender female and this is the timestamp so status is still zero so we i will convert that in few <laughs> welcome back friends so just now we have registered into our project so now my requirement is i want to give some messages to this page just some messages to this some varied messages to this registration form so here in bootstrap we have a application called so i have message called so here we have a class called alert alert success when it is success i want to give a message when it is not success again i want to give a message so here so here the message is success and close the stack so it is success i don't want print directly when it is failed again i want to give a message call fail so when it is failed So here I am giving a message. So 
so here it's failure so here i want to execute this one when i have this variable and i want to execute other class one more div and here div is also a alert but id is different its id is warning so its warning now so when i have the success if uh, is it of dollar underscore success open this and then again open the php tags and close that so here within this div when we have this is to print the success when i do when i have failure same thing fail so just here giving the class called alert warning now execute this so now i am registering again so it's test and my num mail is tested the rate of something and my password is test then mobile number is same number so here i selected mail and i click on the submit button so when i click on the submit button look at the message what we got here successful success we have successfully registered into registered into our website and go to our database called and then look at the data so it's everything is fine without pacing anything and he is successfully registered into our site